Hi guys, so today we're gonna be going around and finding a bunch of cute little libraries. So join me for the adventure. Uh, not much more to say. Um, just gonna address the pimple. <laughs> Recovering from a severe pimple, so I'm just like putting it out there. I'm aware of it, I'm working on it. And let's go have fun. Let's see. Um, honestly, I'm looking in here just like a brief scan. I don't think anything in here is for me. Like I can read all the titles real quick and I don't think any of them for me. So I'm gonna just quickly say a no on this one, but it's sometimes, sometimes, you, know. sometimes you know. Okay, this looks cool. Not born yesterday, the science of who we trust and what we believe. Um, yeah, it looks, description just doesn't sound that good. Silka's journey, oh, from the number one author of the Tattooist of Auschwitz. Um, Silka's just 16 year old when she's taken to Auschwitz Birkenau concentration camp. After liberation, she is charged as a collaborator for Sleep with the Enemy. Wow. That looks like it could be good. That looks like it could be good. So I'm gonna, um, the pilot's wife, Oprah's book club. Um, pilot's wife is taught to be prepared for the late night knock at the door, but when she receives word that a plane flown by her husband has exploded, she confronts unfathomable, one startling revelation at a time. Okay, so that looks kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to read up on these two in the car because it's freezing and it's raining. Um, and the other stuff is just kind of like cookbooks and like children's books. So I'm going to read up on those. So just a little update. I looked it up and Silka's Journey is, I guess, the second book in that, um, the Tattooist of Auschwitz series. So, um, oh. Your destination is on the left. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, this one is super cute and has a lot of cool gems in it. Do you wanna come this way? Okay, first of all, this, I don't know, just makes me laugh. Christmas cookie murder. Um, but we've got this by Barbara King Solver, Demon Copperhead. It's like a really cool paper cover. Um, born to a single mother in a trailer with no assets um, and a plot that never pauses for a breath. He braves foster care, child labor, derelict schools. Um, this is kind of, I think, oh, Demon Copperhead. I wonder if this is kind of like a, a take on David Copperfield is what they're kind of alluding to. So I'm gonna look that up because that sounds really, really amazing. Um, Donna Leon, Death in a Strange Country. I feel like I have heard of this. Um, I'm gonna look that one up too. Edison's Alley, Joni Picoult, Lone Wolf, um, Harlan Coben, Home. Um, ooh, Hour of the Witch, Chris. Bojalahan. Um, put these down here. Um, these just do not want to chill there. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of it. So um, let me look these ones up quick. Okay, so I am going to take this with me. It has amazing reviews. It has 4.5 stars out of five. And this one looked really good to me and even the description sounds amazing you know puritan woman trying to escape a marriage and all these cool things i think would be great to read about but it doesn't have the greatest reviews so i think i'm gonna skip out on it i'm kind of feeling a tug of war on it but yeah i just people said it's not great so so what i'm gonna put in here is actually one of my favorite books of all time but um 
I don't like this addition. And so I'm gonna plop this back on in here for someone else to enjoy. Hey. This is so cute. Okay, this one is kind of looks cool. Two prospectors, not very interested. A single shard. Daughter of the Queen of Sheba, a memoir. Hmm. There's, um, oh wow, whoops. There's always a lot of like poetry collections in here because the town that we are in is just like a very kind of like hippie town. Um, ooh, how not? Portrait of a, hmm. I might look into this. This looks really cool. Um, dispatches from Puerto Nowhere. Like this feels like a really cool book. I feel like the person who lives here has like amazing taste. Flux, um, four days before Christmas, eight year old Bo loses his mother in a tragic accident. 28 year old Brandon loses his job after a hostile takeover of his big media company, blah, 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 blah. Mm, I don't know, that sounds a little boring, honestly. Mm. Haley Aldridge still here. I've read this when I was like vegan. You know, it was like my little Bible. The Ensemble by AJ Gabble. Wow, this one has like a lot of pretty like, I feel like decent books. The Most Beautiful Walk in the World. Midnight Riot. A Tale of Two Murderers. Grave Expectations. The Death of No Importance, The Twice Hanged Man, and Pendragon, book eight, and Meditations. Okay, I'm gonna look up how not to, you know, how not to, and see if that is something I wanna read. The thing is, I just like, I love this little library. It's just, it's so cute. It's so cute. Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna leave it, but this was actually like a pretty good one. And you know, it, it had quality stuff in it. Like every- Quality made. Quality made and like everything in there felt like a quality book. So really cool, love it. Okay, so this one is in front of like a preschool to sixth grade school. And so it has just Probably like, reflects. yeah, it reflects that. So like it has some rolled doll, which is awesome. Um, let's see, this one's kind of cool. It's like um, Gary Paulson's Hatchet. I read this in middle school. It's about a guy who I think he is in a plane crash and he ends up in the middle of the woods and he like survives throughout the year in the winter and it's, I don't know, like it was one of my dad's favorite books and so I remember reading it in middle school and enjoying it. So that's a cool one. Um, Cold Shoulder Road. Joan Aiken. She's Aiken my heart. The True Story of a Fisherman's Search for Truth. Hooray for Captain Jane. Is this like early like to one magnificent woman I love that <laughs> that's awesome like a little early feminist moment here George and Martha <laughs> this is kind of cute um, yeah I don't think there's anything else here so I'm just gonna call that one a an L for me, but you know what? It's really cool. A W for the kids. So this doesn't look like it has much. Um, yeah, snow falling on cedars. I love this title. I know, I hate to say it, but it's, had, it's got a lot of Nora Roberts and just, I don't know, it just doesn't. Seems like what I would probably expect from a retirement home. But anyways, 
I'm always drawn to this title and cover, but anytime I've looked it up, the plot doesn't appeal to me and it doesn't have amazing reviews. So I always leave it, but I just love the cover and I love the title. All right, so I think that one is gonna be a no for me. Yep. Guys, there's a lot of cool things in here. So this is just a cookbook. Um, icons of England, fierce invalids home from hot climates. Not sure what that means. Um, the uncanny reader, stories from the shadows. Okay, H.P. Lovecraft, Shirley Jackson. Sounds like a cool like compendium. Um, I see, okay, let's see. Life is so good. I wanted to get this for my mom. It's like one man's extraordinary journey through the 20th century and how he learned to read at 98. I love it. Okay, I might get that. Um, Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth. Um, Sue Crafton, S is for Silence. Kitchens of the Great Midwest. That's like such a cute cover. Okay. Let's look down here. Um, just like a bunch of stuff I don't want. Made in waiting. Um, oh, James Bond on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Okay. Washington Black. Um, Fran Lebowitz, reader. Um, Edgar Sawtell, I have that already, I think. The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, I think I've heard that's a good book. The Case of Missing Books. Um, Little Giant of Aberdeen County. Geraldine Brooks, People of the Book. I've heard Geraldine Brooks is good, I think, so I'm gonna put that aside. Oh, Janine Cummings, American Dirt. I really want that. The Night Child autographed copy. Cool. Um, Everybody Brave is Forgiven. The Soldier's Wife. A Monk Swimming. Oh, by Malachi McCourt. I'm like really sure that this is Frank McCourt's brother. Just so random. Frank McCourt's the one who wrote Angela's Ashes. And I'm Malachi, I think. Yeah, look. <laughs> told in Angela's Ashes, so he must have went and wrote his own book, so that's kind of funny, but I feel like that's kind of gimmicky, you know? Okay, so I think I want to get this. Um, maybe, maybe not. I for sure want to get this. I've wanted this one for a while. And I'm going to look up this, and I also am so drawn to this cover, so I'm going to look these two up, and I'll give you the consensus in the car. So I'm gonna put back A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. When I was going through my parents' stuff at home, I realized I already had a copy of this. So I am gonna just put this one in there. It's a nice copy. Um, and I'm gonna take these two. I have another book in the car I'll toss in there. So um, I'm really excited.